Hi, welcome to Andrew Buckle Magazine Review of Radio Times, the 60s. This is classic covers, rare photographs, hidden gems from the archive and new interviews. So there's obviously some new material in it, not vast amount. Most of the things in here are all articles from the time. So you've got all the various things like the Radio Times, obviously the football there. All It's colour and black and white all the way through. Now, it's 114 pages. This came out in 2022. Should be able to find copies of it online, I'm quite certain. And it cost me $9.99. Now, why hasn't there been a 1970s one? I really truly thought there would have been. It would have been nice because, of course, they got there, the 60s. Sort of suggesting that they would probably do a 70s, 80s, 90s one. Hopefully, maybe, sometime they will. Because I just love this sort of magazine. Got some covers there. Now, I've got a few radio times, unfortunately, all from the 70s. I've got no 60s ones. I've had, of course, over the years, lots of 60s ones. Obviously, the Christmas ones were always my favourite. I love the Christmas ones, along, of course, with the TV Times. I was always more a Radio Times fan. So you got the picture there, got the various things, 1964, 65, 66. And you can see all the various shows there listed. Foresight Saga, Vanity Fair, oh, Dad's Army, of course, Morecambe Wise, and many others. Let's just flick through it. Here's the Radio Times. This is obviously 1960. You've got, I don't even know, <laughs> some of this. And, of course, Magray. I love Magray. Brilliant, and you've got Magray there. So, yeah, some of them were colour like that. Some, obviously, I think were black and white. But uh, you've got there, yeah, black and white, obviously. Andromeda, A for Andromeda. Unfortunately, of course, the BBC got rid of so many programmes, completely wiped, and I think there's certainly, like, the Andromeda ones did not survive as well as probably should have done. This one as well, I don't know what this one, Adventure Story, obviously, Sean Connery. I mean, James Bond is unbelievable, isn't it? But it's obviously a, I think it's Troy. Troy, Alexander, no, Alexander the Great. I knew it was one of those, <laughs> something like that. However, Compact, remember Compact as well. Rag Trade, I've just recently got the DVD set of that and obviously the surviving episodes. And it's just absolutely brilliant. Of course, Barbara Windsor, isn't it? Just absolutely brilliant episodes. I really love those. Also, I've got the DVD set of Steptoe and Son. I don't know, again, if it's, I think it's got quite a lot of them. I don't know if it's got everything. I assume it has. But I always love these things. And I am looking forward to a book I've just ordered, The Art of Radio Times. Hopefully, it will feature lots of these sort of lovely illustrations, which they always included. Of course, now it's all, obviously, photos. But I really love those old scratchy sort of illustrations. I always thought them scratchy. They were never... Not all. Obviously, not all of them were like Dr. Finley's Casebook. I remember that, but I can't say I was a mega fan of that. Of course, The Beatles. And you've got there The Beatles 1963, obviously, Your Weekend. And... Obviously, jukebox, jury, etc. One of those shows, I think, yes, it's completely gone, isn't it? The year that was. And also loads of, I'll see, there, Peter Cook, etc. Dudley Moore, Christmas Crackers. So I assume that was obviously like at the end of the year. Behind the mouth, it says there, Cassius Clay is obviously Muhammad Ali and Sonny Liston. And of course, the classic football, the World Cup. I mean, you just got to have that happen. I think they probably, yes, they even got the cover. I mean, just look at that great cover. The World Cup opening ceremony. Also, you've got Cathy Comes Home. And was it that one? Cathy Come Home. Comes Home. I always call it Comes Home. It's Come Home, isn't it? Anyway, Tony Blackburn there. And colour comes to the BBC, it says there. When will my receiver cover any future... Oh, will my receiver, I should say, cover any future transmissions on other channels? Yes! Etc. Et Do I need an additional license for colour? Blah blah blah. It's obviously got all the various details about that. Obviously, things have changed since then, of course. Can I see black and white programmes as well as the colour on the colour set? Will I be able to get Netflix on this thing? That would have been really quite advanced, wouldn't it, if they'd include that? There you got the Olympics, of course, Mexico there. All those kind of things. Mexico. Oh, of course. Absolutely love that. Magic roundabout was that oh, no, animal magic, of course, as well. The one in the eye for Johnny. Imagine that must have happened with sort of animals going around. And Basil Brush, of course. I loved Basil Brush. It was a mega fan. I think I must have watched every show. I think it was just always because it was always on before, and I'm going to be wrong on that, probably before Doctor Who. Love Doctor Who, of course. Just a mega fan of that. Top of the box. I mean, just great. Look at that lovely bit of uh, typography there. Every Thursday, the latest on the pop scene. And I always watched it. I just was always stuck in much watching that. Just brilliant. Stevie Wonder turns up. The Sandy Saw. Short supplement, even. Also, of course, there was a vast number of these short shows. You had Dusty Springfield, you had Sandy Shaw, Lulu had shows, loads of people had shows. And, of course, lots of these have turned out 
quite often on BBC Four. I've recorded loads of those ones on BBC Four. There was a brilliant one this weekend, the BBC uh, BBC Two one. And it was, I think, about four hours of uh, various music. Oh, wow, some great acts on there. There were some notably missing ones, but it was still really great to see. And, of course... The moon landing there, have to have that. Tomorrow is here today, Raymond Baxter. I loved watching Tomorrow's World as well. And Star Trek, always surprises me how late we got Star Trek. I always assumed, for many years, the Star Trek came around about 1966, 67. I don't know why I thought that, but obviously it was more 1969 we got it in the UK with the US Enterprise and the vast seas. Quite frustrating how long it took to actually get on our uh, thing. I must admit, it's nice to actually see they've also got listings there, which is great. You've got all the people. You've got Captain James Kirk, Mr Spock, Gary Mitchell, Elizabeth Den Denner, uh, Dr Piper, Engineer Officer Scott, Alden, Sulu and Lieutenant Lee Kelso. Completely different cast, obviously, from uh, that we got later. Obviously, that was where no man has gone before. And Civilization, I love that. And that's actually on BBC I think it's for BBC Four at the moment, I believe. So, uh, great show. I don't know if it's available on DVD or Blu-ray. Should be. It's one of those series that really should be. Actually, I just watched a film with his uh, with his son, Colin Clark. That was brilliant. Marilyn Monroe one. I absolutely love that film. And also some other various pictures here. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's of course Live Birds. Love that. Now, recently, I just got the Live Birds DVD as well. Now, unfortunately, of course, a lot of the, this sort of material completely gone and some more listings i love the listings yeah you can see star trek there arena that was okay that was the gorn one wasn't it i'm certain it was probably was i don't know <laughs> maybe it wasn't i'm certain it was however dixon dot green you got result service as well and of course you got what is that oh of course and they had all these sort of things on german we could learn german and things and obviously french etc charlie chaplin the tramp I can't imagine them putting silent movies on now. I don't think I've seen a silent movie on BBC since whenever, ever. They must put them on occasionally. Maybe Sky Arts is sort of channel, or maybe BBC Four has them probably at two o'clock in the morning or something. But it's, I love this thing. It's this great reminder of all the great shows that were on BBC. And I've got a fair number of uh, sort of these handbooks. I've got ITV handbooks, more of those actually. Uh, than unfortunately the BBC ones. But BBC handbooks are great as well. That's another thing that's certainly worth checking out. Like, I've got 1976, 177 one. Uh, I think I've got a few other ones as well. Maybe I must do a, a review of those as well, because they're really great as well. So this one, Radio Times, 60s. Absolutely brilliant little magazine, this one. Again, why, oh why, oh why, is there no 70s one? An 80s one. I would have really thought this would have been a great little series of sort of magazines I, you know, I imagine they're probably a bit more expensive now as well. Seems everything's gone up. I noticed a lot of things I've noticed didn't go through all the magazines from a couple of years ago. Nine ninety nine now are all eleven ninety nine or twelve ninety nine, which does seem to baffle with the inflation figure there on that. But still, this is great. I really love this. Though weirdly, didn't mention too much about radio. They got radio up there, but still, brilliant magazine. Really worth checking out.